Hello guys, um, guess what I got in the mail yesterday that came in right here, 2007 concert by these guys, and I must say, I wish I was there, I wish I would have gone, I probably would have had a good time. You know, you know what's really sad though, how old for these guys are? Explain to me, and this is the Blu-ray one I got from uh, Walmart.com, and it was like twenty-eight dollars dollars altogether, pl plus the including the ship shipping, the handling when I got it. So, but what's really sad about this concert is that these guys make Metallica look like absolute shit live. Because when I watch this concert, well. I watched about eight songs on this concert. I listened to so far almost all the way of disc one, but I'm not going to give a full review. I'm just going to say right now that I really want to say these guys are still great musicians and still much better than Metallica has been in the past long amounts of time. That you know these guys when they made this concert in that year. They still have their talent. They still know how to play, and it just blew blew me away how well they sounded together. Still, as a very tight unit, especially Jason Bonham's uh, fucking drumming is just absolutely amazing. Like his dad's is, in my honest opinion. Jimmy Page's guitar playing is amazing. John ja Paul Jones playing is amazing as well. And so is uh, Robert Plant's vocals are actually, I'm going to say amazing, but not like they were 40-something years ago. But you know what? This is how music is supposed to be played and meant to be played. And I do have a big problem with just these Metallica fanboy fucktards that think they think they know everything and they don't. You know, it's really okay not to like something, okay? Why is that such a bad thing? Why, why is it a bad thing people don't like the Load and Reload and Sanger albums? And why is it not okay for people to say that Death Magnetic is overrated? Just because you fanboys are just fucking uh, retarded and pathetically stupid, you know? Everybody can like something or not like something. That's the way the world is. It's not a uh, damn fucking one-sided street. If it truly was, we would be in big fucking trouble. I'm telling you that right now. And you don't want that. You know, the Napster thing with Metallica is was bullshit because the band had a lot of money at the time and sued a lot of people for downloading their music because Load and Reload weren't that great of albums by Metallica because those guys to me became the biggest sellout, sellouts of all time. I don't, I don't care and this is just absolutely my honest opinion about Metallica they are absolutely way overrated than Led Zeppelin, than Megadeth. Somebody must be stupid to think that I like ACDC. I'm not a fan of ACDC. I don't even own their stuff. You know what? It's okay if you like that band, but I don't like music that has to sound exactly the same every time that I listen to it to me that gets just boring and just uninterested I, I'm just not interested in ACDC anymore like I used to be four years ago but you know we everybody changes from time to time that's how it is when everybody gets older older especially myself you know I, I look at how damn fucking stupid people can be I, I mean Give me a break with this shit. Metallica 
I don't give a rat's ass about anymore, especially with the way they treated their second uh, base player. That was just so very uncalled for, so immature for them to do that, especially what I don't like about Injustice for All is the, you can't even hear the bass, it's so damn fucking low, and the, you know, why did James Kirk Lars wanted it to be that way, I never really understood that, because on Garage Days, we revisited from 19... Uh, 87, you can hear the Jason Newstead's bass. I mean, to me, that, that to me is just fucking bullshit. You know, when you're in a metal band, you know, back then, like Metallica was, or, or uh, Black Sabbath, Megadeth, you know, those type of bands, you would think that you would probably get treated with as much as respect as the previous bass player that either quit the band or died. That's how I really look at it. I don't look at it as, you know, you're better than everybody else. That's just, no, that's just, that's fucked up. I mean, yeah, Metallica, I used to have a huge amount of respect for it, and I absolutely don't anymore. You know, the reason, the other reasons why I say this band is absolute shit, in my honest opinion. Look how they fucking play live. There's no musicianship there being as strong as it was 21 years ago when the Black Album came out, you know, and there's no passion for the music that they once used to do so very well. That is absolutely two reasons why this band sucks. Okay? But fanboys are not going to get what I'm talking about because they are so far-fetched up Metallica's fucking ass that they think this band is still... So awesome live, blah, blah, blah. I fucking heard it before. You know what? If this band is so awesome live, explain to me why bands like, you know, Megadeth, Alice Cooper, Alice in Chains, uh, Testament, Led Zeppelin's uh, 2007 concert, um, Soundgarden as well, um, Black Sabbath, uh, Ozzy Osbourne. How come these guys all make Metallica look like absolute fucking crap live? And why is it that these guys have never made uh, shitty albums that completely sucked? Or um, became big hypocrite sell out assholes like Metallica it's because these guy, guys actually really care more for their fans than what Metallica does and I can't believe some stupid dumbass thinks that Metallica are still loyal to their fans are, are they really you're really going to be that stupid being lo loyal to your fans isn't uh, making shitty fucking albums like Metallica did with the Load and Reload and Say Anger and the very overrated Death Magnetic. You know? I, I, those those albums, Load and Reload, should have been a solo project. Not, they, they don't fit in the dis, discog, discog, I'm sorry, discography of Metallica. It doesn't. That, to me, is an embarrassment to the first five albums that they did. And, you know, that, to me, is showing that this band does not give a flying fuck about their fans anymore. Because they're absolutely just going to make their music that they the way that they fucking want to 
for get paid more money and that's truly what they all care about the only person in the band that I've said before that has the most talent of the three guys out of James, Lars, and Kirk is Robert Trujillo and that's actually it. I really don't think this guy belongs in Metallica. I think that he should go into another band or something just because Metallica just they can't cut it like they used to. You know, I, I, I say I'm saying this because I seen them play live on here one of their old old songs like Trap Under Ice it's not the same passion as it was on the Ride of Lightning album or the you know 1984 live version of it it don't have the same vibe as it used to have okay that's why also this band is absolute shit live too. There, there's not the same aspiration or greatness that they once had of 28 years ago or 29 years ago that when this band was actually a lot better live than what they are nowadays. You know, their best live performances have been from 1983 till to 1993. You know what kind of made me so pissed off, though, about also this band? Why the fuck did James Hatfield make fun of Lane Staley of Alice in Chains? That was so very fucking uncalled for and bullshit. I, I, you know, making fun of somebody that's on drugs, are, are you really that fucked up in the head that you got to be an asshole to people? I, I, I look at bands that have been around just as long as Metallica has. They never, they never done this shit. They never thought... I'm better than you and everybody else, blah, 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 because we sold so many fucking albums worldwide. That doesn't make you better. Being able to play like you used to 20-something years ago makes you the much better band. Still having the will and talent and passion for the love of music, whether it's heavy metal, whether it's hard rock or blues you have to have the love for that type of music if you don't you're gonna go on a big downfall and that is not a good thing that is a very bad thing you know, I, I say the truth about Metallica my honest opinion about these guys and I get attacked by fucking fucktard fanboys that think that this band still still has got it and they don't. You know, Testament makes this band look like shit live too. So does Megadeth, Alice in Chains, Soundgarden, Alice Cooper, Black Sabbath, Ozzy Osbourne. I mean, bands that have been around for so long and still have the will and desire to make music as great as it was still makes Metallica look like absolute fucking crap live. I really don't have any types of problems of people liking those uh, albums by Metallica Load and Reload and Say Anger and Death Magnetic but my biggest problem is I don't like it where they praise those albums so much that is just ridiculously stupid I mean it's one thing to really praise an album but when you uh, overdo it by this band there's no logic in it whatsoever I, I don't find anything that I would say that's 
good about load or reload or the shitty ass say anger I don't care for those albums I just feel more disappointed with this band alright